this is Henny Espinosa from Just Wish Foundation. Today we are joined by a young man from St. Petersburg, Florida who has big dreams. He his name is Miles Featherston Resch and he founded the nonprofit organization Kids Saving Oceans and he's only 10 years old. He's truly an inspiration not just to kids but to everyone who really need to know why it's so important to protect the environment. So thank you for joining us here on Just Wish Foundation Miles. Of course, thank you. Miles, so take us back to 2018 when you were what, six years old? And uh, it was the summer of 2018 and you were watching Shark Week. So tell us why that moment was so important. Okay, so I was watching Shark Week and I saw an image of a polluted, empty, lifeless beach and I wanted to do something about it. Mm -hmm. um, what, what have you, did you grow up in a family where protecting the environment was such a big thing or did you just kind of were just touched in that moment i was just really touched in that moment and i also really love going to the beach uh-huh so so tell us tell us how that conversation kind of went with your mom after watching that what did you what did you tell your parents um uh, after that um I, I said i wanted to donate my piggy bank but since there's only 13 dollars, i couldn't really do much Mm -hmm. So we talked about little fundraiser ideas and I suddenly had the idea of creating a business. So first it was really like we were discussing big sales and then I had the idea. And then after, we didn't really talk about it much, but then after I brought it up and my mom said, why don't we give it a shot? And I immediately started making sales from like my hat, stickers, shirts. Mm -hmm. And then we got invited to our first event, and it just kept going from there. Where at, at such a young age, when you know a lot of your friends are, you know, and that age. I mean, I remember when I was young, all I wanted to do was really play. Were you always kind of growing up? Were you always, uh, you know, wanting to do more uh, for your community? Were you always like that growing up? Yeah, I always wanted to not really. I wanted to help, but not like help in like, oh, I'm gonna help my mom with the dishes. I wanted to impact the entire world. So so tell us about kind of the community projects because I understand that besides just, you know, uh, selling stuff, raising funds, you actually have like projects, right? That, that the whole community is involved in, whole communities volunteering in. Tell us about those, those projects and programs. So sometimes I do uh, local events and I really also do beach cleanups and our main partner with that is Keep It Out Beautiful and once I did one with my entire school and Boy Scouts camp and after the beach cleanup we actually made art out of it. A, a what? Art? Yeah. Wow and how do, how was that? Was that art turned into merchandise or was that art artwork sold or? What did you do um, with art? It was kept in the school as like a reminder that you can make a difference. Wow. Is that so important for you too, Miles, that, you know, besides really getting people to 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 donate money or getting people to take part in your in your activities as volunteers, is it so important for you that that your work serves as a reminder to people not to forget? Because you know how sometimes people help when there's a project when there's an event and then they kind of forget until there's another event. But how do you feel that 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 your work, that artwork, for example, serves as an example, as a reminder for people to always, always do their part when it comes to the environment? How does that make you feel? It makes me feel amazing because I personally didn't even have the idea of the art. They just came up with the idea and it makes me really happy that people want to help me. Mm -hmm. So does that surprise you that a lot of people actually, when it comes to the environment, they want to do a lot? Does that surprise you or it doesn't surprise you at all when you receive those kinds of, of comments or a reaction from the community, from kids? Uh, actually, it surprised me a little bit because I thought it was just going to be like a little business making, donating mm -hmm. a little money every year. Didn't mm -hmm. expect such positive reactions. Mm -hmm. I understand also, Miles, that you're a published author, right? You have a book? Yep. Wow. So, wow, you've done so much at 10 years old. Tell us about that book. When did you when did you write it? When was that published? Um, what is it about? 
Um, I think I, it happened two years ago and it started as I was doing an event and I saw one of my um, authors that I've bought from, Tori McGee. She has really cute um, books. And I went over and I just asked her, "Can we? do you want to make a book with me? And she said yes. And so later we came up with the idea, the script, and we had an illustrator do all the illustrations. And it's mainly about a girl named Olivia and she wants to help, but not in the way she helps her dad in the kitchen or mom in the laundry room. She wants to impact the entire world. And when she goes to the beach, she finds tons of trash and starts cleaning it up. I think that's what makes this, you know, story um, really something we can apply in our lives because we could use that as motivation for us to really do our part in our own communities as well. Um, you've also been recognized, Miles, right? You've, you've, you've won some awards, been recognized by, by major institutions. Tell us about what these awards are and how you feel that you've gotten them. Uh, how I feel is I feel like really happy because people are recognizing what I'm doing and they want to keep me going and it's really inspiring when I see my award, I think people are supporting me and I want to keep doing this. Mm -hmm. How important is it, Miles, that you have your parents support, your family support? How important is family for a, for a young boy who wants to, to make a difference in the world? Personally, for me, family is everything. They drive me to the events, they help me set up, they help me sell stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and they, they, they really keep you going. You know, because yeah. you have so many more plans um, that you want to accomplish. So tell us about those plans. What are your future plans for Kids Saving Oceans? And how well, can the community help? My goal is to raise a million dollars by the time I turn 18. And so far, I've donated almost $35,000. So a million dollars by the time you turn 18. So we have eight years to go. And what do you plan to do with a million dollars? What I plan to do with a million dollars is donate every single aspect of it. For what cause? And of course, this is for saving the oceans in particular, or just protecting the environment? Protecting the environment, and I mainly donate to organizations like Keep Reynolds Beautiful, Force Blue, and Sharks for Kids, and ton more. Wow. What is your message, Miles, to young people out there? Um, you know, who may or may not have heard your story yet, but what would your message be to them? If you have a dream, go for it and don't stop until you reach the top. Any message to the rest of the world, like the adults who right now have the capacity to really make a difference when it comes to saving the environment? Do what you can and have a good attitude about it, no matter what you do. And if you see a piece of trash, that one piece of trash on the beach, pick it up and throw it away. Those are very good reminders. Thank you so much, Miles. We at Just Wish Foundation were just so inspired by, um, by what you're doing. I mean, at such a young, young age, you've really been setting an example for everyone, not just kids, for adults like myself. Um, you know that it's about time that we really pay attention to what we do because what we do really affects our world and our environment and we only have one world and so we need to take good care of it and so uh, we at Just Wish Foundation and our founder Mr. Jack Wu we would like to help you in our causes we would like to make a monetary donation to Kids Saving Oceans and we applaud you and uh, we support you all the way buddy take, take care and, and keep doing what you do um, in saving the oceans and our world. Thank you. Thank you.